Howdy everyone, Don Domzowski here again with the plan bashed F4U-5 Corsair build. Uh, looking at what I believe is my finalized prototype number one for the cowl flaps. I ended up uh, going a lot more complex than I was hoping for, but ultimately uh, I'm happy with it because it all works exactly as I would want it to. Um, my initial hope was that rather than having to go what you see here with this hinging mechanism uh, for the drive, I was hoping to be able to just statically mount the drive to, you know, a ring here at an angle that allowed it, uh, this pivot, uh, to just have a pivot here. Um, turns out somewhere around 15.5 degrees of, uh, of the drive angle to here gets you pretty close, but you still end up having to um, make the pivot point uh, or the inside of the pivot be oblong. Um, not very much, but enough that I believe in the in the real world with the engine clattering away that this would vibrate too much. So I decided to go ahead and make the double pivot because I knew that would definitely work. And I'll go ahead and start uh, this running so that you can see this actually working along here. So you can see that the drive as it goes out moves a couple degrees and the you know the pivot moves through its through its few degrees of uh, motion. I still have it running at the 18 and a half um, degrees um, from uh, open to close so that that's the same. Um, so you can see with this mounting mechanism that I've uh, created a new I don't know I didn't give it a name yet I guess but uh, F2B uh, maybe for a name. Um, basically it's in here I actually called it uh, the drive what did I call it? Drive ring. And then this is the hinge ring. So I think the drive ring will be able to just be uh, eighth inch light ply. It's tabbed into the uh, tank box and to the F1 uh, A's um, the same as the rest of, of the stuff is. And then the hinge ring will be routed into the back of F1 so that it is flush with the back of it. And you can see I've, what I've done here. I haven't, uh, I haven't added the stiffeners or anything. Um, but I have 3D printed it. And I've, I've printed all the parts. Uh, the last thing I need to do is create a cutting template so that I can cut all the pieces of the brass tubing to the exact lengths uh, that I need and then get this thing assembled. Um, tomorrow, I haven't decided if I'm going to brave the uh, Black Friday crowds here in the United States or hopefully there won't be Black Friday crowds but I need to go out and get enough plywood so that I can get this stuff laser cut at least the front half here from from like F2 forward uh, to be able to do this as a real mock-up. So that's where we are. So far so good. I think this is actually going to be a workable model. Um, I've got a picture of all the 3D parts that I have printed that I will uh, add into the video. Um, but with that, I guess the next piece will be to see this thing actually work in real life. Alright, thank you.